Hello, this is Commander Hugh Jardon. Welcome to another one of my Elite Dangerous videos. Uh, this one's just a short one because a couple of people have asked me about how do I know, how do I efficiently uh, deal with prospector limpets. And just while I'm, uh, uh, before I start, just give you some basics. What we're looking for um, is any rocks that aren't irregular shapes and spinning. Um, now, if it's a small rock, you can get a spinning one, as long as it's not spinning too fast. Um, so big rocks need to be stationary or very slow moving. Uh, any round rock is okay, because it doesn't matter how fast it spins, it's still, you know, it's, the, the problem is the irregular, irregularities knock the limpets sideways or jam them and stuff like that. That's why you have to avoid them, you get stuck, stuck there for a while. Um, and also, while I'm here, I want to just demonstrate the new mining equipment that came from the CGs. I've got uh, four of the new Class 1 sort of engineered mining lasers. I can't remember what they call them. Uh, they're all in the Class 2 slots. So it's four Class 1 engineered mining lasers in the Class 2 slots. And in the other th three slots, I've got Class 2 mining lasers. I've got three Class... 5A collector limpets and one of the new multi limpet controllers, class 3C, which gives four limpets. So I've got 13 collector limpets altogether, plus the um, uh, the new mining lasers. That's the difference. And I reckon it saves my time now by more than 10%. So, what I do as I'm approaching a rock that I want to prospect, I'm already looking around for other ones that I can prospect. So it's peripheral vision, vision that you need. So I'm firing a limpet, and as soon as I can target it, so I just tilt the ship down, target it, and I can see a rock over there that I want next. So I fire a limpet at that one. That rock that I had, I just fired at, has got nothing in it. So just moving forward, targeting that one. I'm now looking to the left. There's another one there. Or there's one much nearer here, so I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. So it's, you can see it's a slow moving rock. That one's got platinum in. So I'll target this one. And while that's doing its job, I'll go back to this one and mine it. So that other one's got 37% in, so I would target that one as well. So just to demonstrate these new mining lasers. You can see they they do concentrate all the fragments down the centre under the ship mainly. Sometimes they you know they go a little bit off but so that's that's the rock finished, no overheating. Collect up the limpets. And then I'd be on to my next rock. Now normally I'd be mining that second one that I had targeted, but assuming just to show you how I do the, the limpets. While they was collecting those, I would have been taking that one. And I see the one next to it doesn't look bad as well. So I'm still looking around. The one behind the one on the left looks mineable as well. So target that one, target that one. Already I'm thinking about the one behind it, but now I've seen the one up to the left. So that one's not mineable. I want around about 25%. So there it is up there. There's one next to it as well, to the left of it now. So the limpets are going out all the time. That's only 18%, so that's not enough. Target that one. Now on to the next one. No time wasted. Now at the moment, the only one I can see is up, up to the left. And then there's one above that. So that one had osmium in. So once I've got this uh, limpet targeted, I'd be back for that osmium. I only take osmium and platinum and I can fill up this ship in under an hour that's five uh, that's 522 tons so that one looking over here that one looks mineable as a general rule I'm working towards I've got the hotspot targeted and I'm generally aligned to the side of it somewhere I generally work my way to it I just use that as a target so I don't go too much over the same rocks 
So all the time, there's a, a, collect, a, a prospect Olympic coming out the ship. As soon as that one's gone, that looks mineable. I've fired the next one until I find a rock, find a rock to mine. And then uh, when I've mined out, I then just start again. So it's as simple as that. This saves a lot of time. You know, some people know this. Other people have difficulty with it. But it's not mineable. One there. The one up to the top left there, just going out the screen, is too irregular shape and spinning too fast. But that one up 45 degrees to the left is um, closer. So I'm going to take that one. There's three above me now, if I just rotate round. So I go back and get that 36% from that one after targeting that. Then I've got three in a row there, one above it as well, that's four. So my whole route is planned now for a while. I know the one below has got 29% in, so as soon as I have this limpet targeted, I would go back and get it. This one here. So pr prospectors going all the time. You've only, I've only got two. Well, I've got one controller, which can have two active limpets at a time. So that's it in a in a nutshell. Oops. And now this one. I'm just looking round. That one above it looks okay, and the one to the left, right of that. So none of these are mineable. Uh, sorry, none of them got stuff into mine. There's that one. That one above looks okay as well, but I've got the choice now of the one at uh, 11 o'clock or the one at 3 o'clock. So the one I've just, just landed hasn't got anything. That one's a bit nearer, I think. You can't always tell how near they are, especially if they're to the side. They look close, but when you point at them, they seem to go further away. It's because it's, you've got like a fish eye. So that one I just had, had osmium in it, which I would have gone back to mind. So there's one below it now. So I just messed up there by not having the next one. I was too busy talking. But you get the idea. It's, it's not difficult. It's just, you've just got to look around and think ahead. So this one to the left. Over there, that big one. That's a big one, but it's moving nice and slow, so it's so it's good. Then one one at uh, two o'clock position will be the next one. And what I do, if I'm going to mine this one, say, I remember that that one's up at two o'clock. This one's not mineable. But if I was mining it, the danger is you're going to forget about the one above. So what I do, I always ro roll round, so that when I finish mining, all I've got to do is tilt up. Was it that one? I can't remember which one it was now. But they, they, oh, there it is up there. That, no, I've done that one. Anyway, that, that's the idea. Let's see if I can demonstrate that again on the next one. So let's imagine I'm doing this one. And let's say I wanted to do the one on the left next. And when you get close, you can't always see it. So what I'd always do is rotate round like this so it's directly above me. So I'd mine that. Obviously when you're mining you, you can't roll your ship. But generally you want to keep your ship still anyway. So as soon as the um, asteroid's depleted, I know I've got to tilt up and fire my limpet. And I can do that while I'm collecting. So it makes the collecting a tiny little bit less efficient because I moved away from it a bit. Where's that limpet gone? Did it get past? No, it landed on the rock, I think. Or didn't come out. So anyway, that's the idea. And um, yeah, I hope you get something from that. You know, I think most experienced miners know about that. But for some new people, you know, maybe they haven't figured it out properly. But that saves, you're saving like 20 seconds of rock that you're going to mine or 20 seconds a limpet and you know if you're looking to do 522 tons in an hour those 20 seconds from each rock that probably equates to more than half an hour of your time overall so if you're taking like 90 minutes to fill up your ship it's probably because you're not um, firing off your prospectors right so um, if you've got any questions ask them in the comments i always try to answer them if i can and other than that, I'll see you in the next video.